Hi, I'm Noelle Hyman with paperclipping.com and we are in the Crafters Workshop booth and we're here with Rebecca Meyer. How are you, Rebecca? I'm fine. Good. You design stencils for Crafter, uh, I do. Crafters Workshop. I have a new line with the Crafters Workshop and I'm happy to be here demonstrating today. Yeah, we're gonna, you're going to give us some ideas of what you can do. This is totally unique. Yes, I am going to make my own decorative tape using masking tape, um, a little paint, and my stencils. So the first thing you want to do is peel off your tape, and I have a non-stick um, sheet of like Teflon material, and you put your, your tape down onto your, so it's easy to pull off when you're done. And then you're simply going to um, first put a coat, I like to put a coat of gesso on first, um, just to give the paint something to stick to. And then I've just done a little um, stamping with um, a text stamp um, to get me started. And then I'm ready to stencil. So I'm using three of my new stencils. And I think I will start out with one of my circle ones. I love this. It's so pretty. Yeah. And, you know, it's really versatile, too. You could do this for car make cards with it, scrapbook pages, um, journaling, mm -hmm. you know, so it's, it's pretty versatile. Is that paint that you're using? It is. I'm using Liquitex um, heavy body um, acrylic, and I will also be using the Liquitex ink, which is also an acrylic, but it has the consistency of ink. So, um, so I'm going to do this one in like sepia tones, but because um, I, I I love that look, a vintage look. So, so you're still using the same paint <laughs> and am. the different stencils. Yes, on and then. It dries fairly quickly, and then what I'm going to do is, after it has completely dried, let's pretend that it's all dry. <laughs> <laughs> Just have a quick question. Do you typically use the sponges when you I, use stencils? Um, I have been demonstrating today with them, and I'm kind of fond of the, of the foam the cosmetic sponges. What do you often use? I, a stencil brush. Okay. Yeah. I normally, when at home, I use a stencil brush. Okay. So once I've got this on and it's fairly dry, I'm just going to take, what I like about this is you can drop things or, um, from the dropper, the acrylic, and then I would take a paper towel and just kind of pat uh -huh. it and, and make the background. So you can get some of it's a little darker and some of it's yeah, a little lighter and some yeah. errors if you want. So, and then I'll just dry it. It's pretty. Yeah. It's fun. I mean, you can, you know, make it and so then you pull it off and sticking together, <laughs> fortunately, of course, and then I could tear it. And for this demo, I'm going to use... We had a tag, tag. somewhere, didn't we? Did we have a tag. Is it, did it get over there? Yes, right it there? did. Okay. Yep, it did. Thank you. You're welcome. And then this one I had already started, so with, with other, my other stencils. So I might just, maybe at the top, you could, like I said, you could tear it. Um, I like to use partial pieces of my stencils. So I might put some up here put it on another one um, and you have a decorative tape that you can use for just about anything yeah I love that you didn't feel like you had to use the whole thing on one no, piece you're just I using really, you know I, I don't a lot of times do not use the whole thing I just like to use bits and pieces and parts yeah. so yeah get little mysterious hints sure yeah <laughs> thanks so much Rebecca well, thank you all right we are gonna walk over to the wall now and take a look at her stencils and some sample backgrounds that somebody has made. I don't know if it's Rebecca or somebody else, but each of the stencils come 12 by 12 or six by six. And this one's got butterflies and it's got these circular things. You could use just parts of it or use the whole thing. Here they use the whole thing over the entire 12 by 12. We've got uh, some here with these hearts and the postal images and text that you typically get with the post office. <laughs> um, another sample there. This one's interesting. It's got interesting designs going. It's a grid. 
going up and down. And here you can see that she's combined a couple different stencils. You've got the grid here, but here's also this piece, which looks like it maybe came from this and used a, as a mask or used, I don't, used a little bit differently. Let's look, we've got this one. Oh, this is from that. I think the one we just looked at was from something else because she's got a few of these types. Right here, this is a Rosetta. This one's Byzantine. And then here's another one, the mini ring doily and the full-size ring doily. So maybe if we can, oh, here's something to different from what we were just looked at. This one's got some hearts and this kind of floral piece. We've got this and that, that's the mini Gothic romance. There's a bunch of them. Um, there's a few more and maybe Izzy can pan the camera across just a little bit to get some of the artwork and some of the stencils. This is gorgeous. And maybe this little project at the end, that bag right there. So lots of fun stuff. This is Rebecca Meyer and it's with the Crafters Workshop. And I am Noelle Hyman from paperclipping.com.